How do evacuated tubes work is the question I asked Mark Hill of Solar Green. There's a couple of uh, differences between the two types of collectors. Uh, in a flat plate collector, the fluid, whatever you're running through there, whether it's water or, or a glycol or glycol water mix, uh, runs through the panel from the top to the bottom and heats as it, uh, as it moves over the, the plate that's inside the, the panel. Uh, then it runs down into uh, your mechanical room and, and can be used through a, a heat exchange to heat up water in a tank. An evacuated tube uh, collector system works a little bit differently. Inside each tube you have a, a heat pipe and when the tube collects heat it he transfers the heat into the heat pipe. The heat pipe is generally filled with a water alcohol mix that boils no, it's the heat pipe at the very top. So how the, the evacuated tube uh, collects heat, uh, in this case through an aluminum nitrite, and uh, as it heats up, there's an aluminum fin inside the collector. Uh, that transfers the heat to a copper heat pipe, which is also closed and vacuumed. That heat pipe has a small amount of alcohol and water in it. That flashes at about 86 degrees, and the steam fills the bulb at the top. That bulb then goes into a manifold. So this is completely closed and then the manifold has your water glycol mix that runs through it and collects the heat off of the bulb. That's where the heat comes from. So it's a double closed system. Then the, the uh, glycol in the manifold goes down in, again into your mechanical room uh, through a heat exchange system, uh, whether it's an external flat plate or an internal uh, coil inside of a storage tank, it releases that heat into uh, the water and then it circulates back up. Um, and so it's a very efficient way. What you'll find is in the, in the middle of winter, for example, uh, when it may be, let's say, two or three degrees outside, the outside of the evacuated tube will be very cold all of the heat is kept inside. Again, the, the, the two factors that help increase efficiency in solar thermal is to optimize your orientation to the sun and to retain as much heat as possible. The way that the evacuated tube helps to maintain that orientation is the cylindrical nature of it. As the sun moves across the horizon, it, from about 40 degrees on, it always has a 90 degree orientation with the tube. Okay. Uh, and then the heat that comes into the evacuated tube is conserved because there's a vacuum. And, and a good way of, of looking at this is if you took a glass of water, covered it and put it in your freezer, and then you took a, a thermos bottle and uh, put it in your freezer. An hour later, that glass of water, hot water, and make sure it's hot when you put it in there, the hot water would be cold, but the water in the thermos would still be warm. Uh, because the heat escapes, heat goes from hot to cold. Therefore, the heat's going to go out from the, the uh, flat plate out into the glass of, that covers the front, flat plate. In an evacuated tube, it doesn't do that because there's a vacuum there.